Hey guys, how's it going? So this is my new filming room. I hope you guys like it. I ended up choosing, I don't even know what this would be called. I guess it's, I guess it's pink, 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 but I kind of think it's a little bit corally, but I love it, whatever it is. It's so bright, it hurts my eyes, and it's exactly what I wanted, so I'm in love with it, and I hope you guys really like it too. This video is going to be a November favorites. I haven't done a favorites video for a long time. So I thought that today would be the day, and I guess since it's December 1st, that it's probably a good day to do it. Um, I have a couple really cool products to show you, and yeah, I'll get right into it. So my first product that I'm going to show you is a perfume. It is Hypnotic Poison from Dior. I previously used this in high school, and I absolutely loved it. It smells like the most gorgeous vanilla smell that you'll ever smell. I really do suggest you try this out in the store, because it is one of my favorite signature scents that I've ever worn. And I decided to repurchase it, and I got it duty-free, and it was the best, so no tax. Woo! Um, I absolutely love it. Go check it out. My second item I'm going to show you is Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. You guys have seen this probably before in one of my videos. I'm in Bisque. I didn't like this at first, but it totally grew on me, and I'm really glad that I kept trying it. It is a really, really light weight formula, so it covers but not like really goopy like foundation and I wear this to the beach and on days where I just don't really feel like doing a whole face and it works really, really well. I think it's great, although it is a little bit expensive, it is worth the price. Second thing, third thing, third thing, I was going to say second skin product, um, the Garnier Skin Renew Roller Ball. I've also shown you guys this in a video a while ago and I said I'd get back to you on it and I really like it. Um, it's a super, super light formula. I got the, I want to say I got the lightest one available. But you roll it on, and then you rub it in, and it rubs in quite nicely. It gives you a bit of coverage underneath your eye area, which I really like because I have super dark circles. Um, the only thing is it doesn't, like, completely erase the need for concealer. I still use a concealer with this, but I do like the added little boost of brightness that it gives under your eyes. One thing is make sure, since it is a roller ball, when you travel, make sure you put it in a plastic bag or else it will all explode out of it and I found that out the hard way, so don't do that. And next is my Elba Coconut Cream Lip Balm. I showed you guys this last video. It is freaking awesome. It is 82% certified organic and really moisturizing, so I really like this. It's lightweight, so it's not like sticky or gummy. It sinks in really quickly and it smells gorgeous. I love it. Okay, this next one is what I got really, really excited about because I've seen it on several people and they totally got me into it. Sally Hansen, the silver one. It is in 220 Celeb City and I actually have it on my accent nail. I am in love with it. It is so, so, so metallic and anything shiny is like my best friend. So this is my new best nail polish and I've been wearing it like crazy. It's going to look great with a tan, which I'm really excited for. Next product is, okay, I haven't found this anywhere in Australia, but I need to. It's a Pureology Anti-Fade Complex, perfect for platinum. Um, it's like a spray. You spray it in your hair when it's wet, and um, it's for blondes with four levels of lift, which obviously I am. Um, it kind of fills your hair cuticle in so that it's not so porous and doesn't suck either stuff in, so this sucks the good stuff in. Um... It's for like fragile damaged hair, which mine is and is. So I thought this was a really great product. It totally made my hair softer and more manageable and I thought it was easier to comb through after. So I love this and I can't find it anywhere in Australia. I don't think they sell Pureology, but if they do and you live here, please let me know because I would love to buy some more of this or somebody can ship it to me, one of the two. Okay, next hair product, yes, a new hair product, is Movie Tone Hues. It's a purple conditioner and I have never found a purple conditioner that is literally this purple. I kid you not, it is like the most purple of the purple. I don't want to spill too much of it. Like, look at it. Usually you find purple shampoos that are that pigmented, but not like conditioners. I have um, a Joico one, and it is like half as purple as this is. Oh, get back in the bottle. Huh. But yeah, this seriously will turn your hair like bright gray if you leave it in any longer than like a minute. You have to be really careful when you put this in and I strategically like put it through my um, bangs and through all the different parts of my hair where I see it to be a little bit yellow. I love this. Lifesaver. It will actually work better than 
any purple shampoo that I've ever used. So it's nice to have a conditioner that's purple as well. You have to dilute this though. Make sure you do about half and half with another conditioner or else, like I said, your hair is going to go bright silver or bright purple and you don't want that. I have one more hair product. Well, it's not even a product, it's a hair tool. I got a GHD and it is my new best friend. Um, I don't know what model it is. I think it's a newer one but I'm in love with it. Um, I'm gonna be doing quite a few tutorials on this, so if you wanna know how to do anything with the GHD, leave it below. But this is my new best friend. <sighs> and, and this is kinda cute. It was my first purchase with an Australian plug. Look at them, they look so funny. I've never seen something like this before, but yeah, my first one. And the best thing about these is that the voltage is universal, so I can plug this into a little, um, what's it called thingy, these things, Ooh, the converter thingy, and use it at home when I do end up going home and need to use a hair straightener. So I have that. I have one more product to show you, and okay, this has been actually, I wouldn't say a life changer, but I definitely would say it's been one of the best purchases I've purchased in a long time. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I've always used just like regular drugstore skincare line stuff and it worked until the past about year or so and then for some reason my skin just went bleh. So I decided to invest in buying an actual skincare line and I went with Dermalogica Whoop. and I bought the Medibac clearing one so it has a little bit of, what's it called, salicylic acid, is that how you pronounce it? I don't remember. But um, it has stuff for breakout prone skin, which mine is. First couple weeks of using this, I didn't notice much of a difference. And now it's been about a month and a half and I'm in love with it. It doesn't leave your face all like dry and yeah after. It really, really, really works. Um, I've also bought the toner, the moisturizer, and the um, eye makeup remover. I'm going to do a whole, I think, video on my skincare routine. but. I have been using this. I definitely would recommend it. It's expensive, but it's so worth the price. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I think I'm just going to leave this for another video and just like go through the entire line with you guys. So yeah, that is everything that I have this month for my favorites. I hope you guys like this video and I really hope you like my new filming room because I'm in love with it. And I will probably talk to you guys sooner than later. Bye!